Don't talk until spoken to, little fish. All right, big fish. Because you are learning just like everybody else. Watch, listen, and learn, and you too will know how to do it right. Why are you cutting little pieces of paper up tape? I asked you not to outline nothing. I'm not, dude. You just outlined that. Okay, what about here? That's why I said don't do it. Let me show you how to do it, okay? You're not doing it right. Don't waste my tape, bud. How much was that tape? How much was it? 20. 28 fucking dollars for four rolls of tape. Let's not waste tape. No. It was twenty-eight dollars for four or five rolls. No, three rolls of big tape and four rolls of little tape. No, yes. I got four. Did I get four and three? Yeah, okay, yeah, seven right. rolls now. Seven rolls of tape. All right, what's up? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We got a car back here that we are painting right now, and uh, what we're doing, we're partially painting it. What that means is that he had door dings on it, so we got to blend the paint into the quarter panel and front fenders on both sides of the vehicle. Now, what this video is about, and this is going to help you out a lot, what are you doing over there, sir? Sitting in the corner, standing out of the way. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm doing, man. What are you doing? Pedro, that's what I'm doing. I throw it right, man. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. All right, we're here today to learn how to tape off our vehicle the proper way for painting. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you come over here with me, please? Yes, sir. All right, come on over here because I want to show something to you and get your opinion on this all right, all right. when we look at it, okay? And I just want to let everybody know when I saw this piss poor tape job that was on this desk that we're building, it's sparked a nerve and I said you know what I need to show everybody how to tape stuff off properly because when you got lame brains working for you when you got clown factories doing the job for you and you're putting yourself uh, dependent on them what is the situation that we have what is the situation what are you doing now I'm waiting for you to see what but we're not even over here you said I said I was going to show you something. I didn't say to sit down. All right. Well, All right. What, what the fuck, dude? Hey, dude what it's is a sit-down day today, isn't it, Cloud? Oh, uh, let's see, man. What is it? <laughs> it's a sit-down day today, Cloud. Easy Factory. money. <laughs> Easy okay. money. You we got a problem over here. Hey, look, uh, dude. Look. We okay. got a problem. Yeah, I know. You know what? There's always two stories to one story, and this, that, and the other. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who did it. Because I didn't do it. All right. So can we show everybody what we're talking about? I want you to point it out because you did it. I didn't do it. Okay, what are we looking at here? Oh, there's one right there. Wow, let's look at that. I see some yellow paint on the edge of that. I see some yellow paint showing. Hey, the, the, what the, does that mean? The painter missed it. Oh, really? Yeah. That means that it was taped off like crap. Look, dude, let me explain something. Okay. When I taped the edges right there, mm -hmm. okay, and I want to fine nude it, and mine was lapping over, I take this hey, little easy tool. With the knife, bud. I take this okay. little tool. And I'm gonna fix my boss. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna fix him up a good paint job, okay? Okay. I, and so you're, what you're saying is you went ahead and I gouged. paid attention. No, I okay. paid attention to my detail, sir. Okay. Another thing is I let my fingernail grow along, and that mm. fingernail, dude. So why is there yellow paint showing there? Because somebody else taped that. It wasn't <laughs> me. But you just told everybody how you did it. <laughs> That's how I do the oh, tape. Oh, okay. That wasn't me, Pedro. Can we find some more on here? Is there any more on I'm this sure desk? I'm sure there is, dude. I'm sure there is. Let's see here. Let's. No, it's right here. Let's look. ride right down here, the right edge. Here, dude. Right here, dude. Right here. Here's a spot right... Uh, who did this job? Who did all this taping off? Was that I, the other guy? That was the other guy. That man. was the other guy. There's no way, dude. Okay. There's no way I would leave something hanging uh, over that. that. So you did this side where there's none, right? That's your side, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nice make sure you double check it to make sure that that's your side. <laughs> it is, dude. Yeah, okay. Nice All right. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Hey, dude. Thank you very hey. much. Let's
let's get that hood done, bud. Hey, if let's you get wanna... the hood done. We showed everybody the mistakes. You told them your side of the story. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Pedro. If you want me to be an inspector, you just gotta give me a little raise, dude. Oh, uh, you, now you're gonna crazy. be the inspector, huh? Hey, I can inspect yeah. stuff. If you I'm want gonna to inspect me. yours. You've been on that hood for ten minutes now. Let's get it. All right. If we look in this area right here, you see that I'm peeling this tape off because we got a problem here. To do this properly, uh, let's say that it was a collision job and this quarter panel was wrecked and this, that, and the other, this tail light would have came out of the vehicle. But we're not doing that. What we are doing, though, is we are going to start way down here, we're going to blend the paint in, and then, of course, this will be clear coated. So what we want to do, we want to take this off properly and make sure that we don't get no paint or overspray on our lens or our bumper cover or our antenna, which needs to come out. What you want to do, you want to take your tape, now this is three quarter inch. All I use at my shop is three quarter inch and one and a half inch, that's it. I don't use two inch tape and I don't use half inch tape. I use three quarter inch and one and a half inch. That's pretty much the standard. And when you're putting your tape on a situation like this, you don't want to just take it and put it on the edge and come around, okay? Because what's going to happen is it's going to get overspray inside. Even though you covered this edge up, there's still going to get overspray inside there and then it's going to leak down in. The way that you want to put that tape on is you want to take your fingernail right here, okay, there it is. You want to take the edge of your fingernail, you want to start about two inches away, and you want to take your fingernail and rub that in there, roll that in there, just like this. If you can see me doing that. Roll that in there, Buffalo. Okay, you want to lift it up and roll it in. You want to make sure that that tape rolls in there and you're pulling on it with one hand and rolling it with your finger or your thumb, whichever fingernail fits in there properly. And then we're going to roll that around, see, just like that. Now what we've done, we've created a lip that goes inside there and we don't have to worry about any overspray uh, hurting the tail light itself and we don't have to worry about the tape overriding our quarter panel because we want that clear to go down or that paint to go down inside. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So it's important that you roll that away from the, uh, you roll that edge away from the piece that's being painted. And then what we're going to do right here where the bumper cover meets the body line of the quarter panel, we're just going to repeat our process. We're going to start inside the fender well area here. And we're going to have it hanging over approximately a sixteenth of an inch. We're going to take our finger with our fingernail. As we are guiding the tape, we're going to go ahead and push that into the lip. If you can see what my fingernail is doing right here. It looks like it's a very tight fit, so you got to, sometimes you've got to go back and make sure that the tape rolls around just like that. Once that's done, you can come back and tighten your tape up. And now, we're going to double check that, making sure that the tape is covering the edge of our bumper cover and it's not overriding the panel that we are painting. So that's the proper way that you would tape around your edges. This is called outline taping. This is called uh, the very first thing you do before you put paper on it. And now once we got our outlining done, this is called outline tape, and we can now take our paper and our tape, and we can go ahead and apply that to the tape that we just applied, just like this, and you can see that that's going to be a nice, accurate tape job that we can be proud to say we did ourselves. And then you can see how professional this looks. We got all of our air pockets all taped off. Uh, we went ahead and rolled our tape with our finger all the way around. We went ahead and professionally outlined everything. What I'm trying to say here, it's very important before you put your paper on to professionally outline the area that you're painting. It's called outline taping. All right, do you understand? Yes. Shut the hood, let's see how good it looks. Let's see if you're ready to go with that idea. Alright, I like that. That's a lot nicer. Look how nice and clean our gap is. 
Do you see what I'm saying now? Instead of taping it down like you were doing it, all you need is one piece of tape instead of putting doubling it up on it, bud. And I see the situation there. I was going to ask you what the problem was. That I couldn't get, I couldn't fit my Okay, finger. get your screwdriver like I was showing you and push it down in there. All right. Okay, let's get that tape right up next to that lip there. Okay. Let me see the screwdriver. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a nice screwdriver, Lucci. Hey, that's my tool. Yeah, good. There's two pieces of tape. There's one. Get it fixed, bud, please. Okay. All right. Now we are ready to go ahead and outline our uh, side of the car here, tape it off, and go ahead and paint it. So always remember, if you want a professional job, it takes time and it takes practice. All right, you're not going to tape your car off perfect the first time, but at least you're going to pay attention and do it right. Now that my friend Pete showed you how it's done, we'll see you later. Take it easy. I'm sure Lucci learned something. Hello. I sure did. What did you learn? How to fix it right. How to do it right so your boss doesn't bitch at you about fucking not doing it right. That's right. Yeah. Then do it right. We'll see you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. Outline tape before paper tape. We'll see you later. You got anything to say to anybody out there before we go? Adios, amigo. Yeah, that's good. I can tell you concentrate. Get her done, bud. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.